So in the, inter in the agenda, I talked about we'll be covering four area specific case studies and we'll look at how we optimize call center operations, how we optimize dispatch operations, how we use data to launch new digital products and how we use data to improve the digital experiences. But before I get into the case studies, I, I want to touch upon the thought process that goes behind creating these dashboards at Analytics Center of Excellence. So rather than creating ad hoc reports or building ad hoc views for the micro asks that come in from different stakeholders, we try to build end-to-end -end business intelligence solutions through Tableau dashboards. And in the demos, you'll get a sense of uh, what do we mean end-to-end -end BI solutions. And the objective here is to democratize and distribute data so that the business experts, the stakeholders who are on the front lines of the business can slice and dice millions of rows of data themselves without having to write code and extract actionable and valuable insights whenever they need, at will on a near real time basis. With that, let's get into the case, uh, let's get into our first case study. So as I mentioned before, in our call centers, we have a few customers, we have certain customers who call us multiple times repeatedly on a recurring basis. So the objective here was to improve customer experience by analyzing and monitoring calls from customers who are highly engaged with our call centers. And to do that, the first step is to identify who these customers are and why do they call us? So we start with customer segmentation and we look at 17 different individual attributes for every single individual in our customer base. So this is at the customer level, customer segmentation at the actual customer level. We once we've identified these attributes, we monitor their calling behavior and categorize these customers into different cohorts to be treated. And the way these customers are treated is when they call us the next time, they are routed to special teams of reps, which include some of our best and the most skilled call center representatives. So once the routing takes place, it's time to measure the program benefit calculations. At this stage, basically what we're trying to answer is, how has the calling behavior for these identified customers changed after routing to the special call center representatives? And once we see promising results, the next question is, how do we scale this project to include more and more customers? But before that, a key question we need to answer is, do we have enough operational capacity to scale? And so for all of these steps in the process, for all of these uh, different uh, stages of the project, we've used Tableau dashboards, tools through Tableau dashboards to answer these key questions. So before I get into the dashboards, uh, I want to say this, we've used actual dashboards, but the data points have been redacted by replacing them by pound signs. And you would see certain sensitive information being blurred. Uh, but these are actual dashboards that we use every day, like right from our analysts to our executives. And so what you will be seeing are screen captures of these actual dashboards. And the way we've redacted is, uh, it's just changing the labels. So when I show you the slicing and dicing of data, there's actual six million rows or there are actual big data being uh, uh, treated under the hood of these dashboards. So let's look at these hashboards, if you would will. Uh, once a cohort is selected at the top right at the top left filter, excuse me, you can see certain customer segmentation, not only on an overall basis for the cohort selected, but the table at the bottom shows you each individual customers and 17 different attributes that we monitor for these customers. And to give you a sense of what we look at, we look at where the customer comes from, how long the customer's been with us, what products they use, what age group they fall in, how often do they call? On an average, how long are their calls? What is the average call sentiment? And, and other attributes. So, so once these cohorts are created uh, and once these customers are routed, in the next few, 
we look at how the calling behavior for these customers have changed. And in the table at the top, what you see is we look at certain pre-routing weekly averages and then look at post-routing weekly averages and then compare the weekly average reduction percentages for key KPIs that answer questions such as, are we now resolving these customers' issues better post-routing? Are the customers more satisfied post-routing? And by how much has the call volume, dispatches, and billing adjustments gone down post-routing? And from the data, there's an interesting thing that we see, which is the fact that if you take care of the customer, if you take care of the customer as a byproduct, you start solving for reducing operational costs. So as we see the resolution rate go up, as we see the satisfaction index go up, the call volumes, dispatches, and billing adjustments go down proportionately. So that's a really interesting insight uh, that we see. The time trend that you see in the line graph below shows you the decline in call volume post-routing, so decline in call volume after routing to the special teams of reps, and the reference lines that you're seeing show you when each cohort is routed. So in a sense, it, it's, it's giving you a sense of the project life cycle. So one feedback that we got from our stakeholders was, okay, it's great to see the call volume going down post-routing, but we want to compare how these cohorts have performed against each other after routing. Now, each cohort is routed at a different date. So for that, we wrote certain date alignment logic, which is using date trunks to extract the week of the routing date, and then using date diffs to calculate the number of weeks it has passed since routing. And what you arrive at is the line graph, which, is, which you see at the right, where you see cohort one, cohort two, cohort three, cohort four stacked Along, uh, along each other to show you what was, the, what was the result during week zero, which was the week of routing, during week one, during week two, and three weeks after routing, and so on and so forth. The bottom of the dashboard is the call volume, call volume calendar heat map, daily call volume calendar heat map for nine months. So you can see Q1, Q2, Q3, showing you a daily call volume. And it is good to see that as the project progresses, we move on from a whole lot of yellow and red to into the green. So it's an intuitive way to see if a cohort is performing good or bad. And uh, th this type of a view is not a default chart in Tableau, but you can use row index functions and column index functions and build the view and overlay dates on top of that. A Tableau is super flexible in getting some customized views built. Now the question is, okay, do we have enough operational capacity to scale? We see tremendous results. We want to scale the project, but do we have enough operational capacity to scale? So here, in this view, we are seeing the call answering capacities of individual reps. And in the line graph, you'll see when we introduce a new cohort to be routed, the reps are functioning at maximum capacity, the call volume is high, but due to their effectiveness, they're handling customers effectively, and they're, treat, they're resolving their problems faster, so due to their effectiveness, they're reducing the call volume, they're reducing the need for customers to call us multiple times. And so the call volume goes down, and there comes a point where the reps are underutilized, and it is at that point of time, we want to introduce a new list. So you can see the cohort A is introduced, the call volume is high, it goes down due to the effective handling by the reps, then we introduce cohort B, then we introduce cohort C. And the capacity utilization that you see is shown in waffle charts. So it's a good use case for waffle charts, which, which is not used in business often. Uh, but something that is again interesting is those percentage numbers that you see on top of these waffle charts, those are actual sheets overlaid on top of other sheets, and that's only possible in Tableau 2018.3 with the functionality of making the background transparent. So I was waiting for this functionality for a long time, signed up for the beta program, and I'm glad it's out there now, and we're using it right away. 
So now, how do we decide which customers fall in uh, this next list to be routed, right? It is through this optimized routing scaling tool and uh, different teams in call centers, uh, different business transformation teams and us in data science, we come together and we sit together and we can just plug in the customer behavioral attribute thresholds to whatever we want and get the new list of customers to be routed. And so in a sense, there are like less Excel, Excel sheets being floating around. There are less individual stakeholders crunching numbers on their own. But using this tool, we can come to a consensus fairly quickly and not lose momentum in the project. So we use this tool a lot to introduce new sets of customers uh, in our optimized routing program. The results have been phenomenal. And Greg will talk about the impact. Thank you, Sid. So yeah. I think that that dashboard and the series of dashboards is amazing. Um, one thing to think about that Sid was just touching upon is you have a bit of, we had a bit of human interaction at first, but when you think about how we can use machine learning and AI here is you basically have that capacity tool tell you when to trigger your algorithm. When that capacity tool hits that threshold, now you can trigger the algorithm, it picks the filters for you based on the optimal cohorts, and then distributes that list automatically into the engine needed to rep those, those customers to the right reps. So it's really taking the human element out of it and making us just way more efficient. So to get to the results, uh, as you can see, customers are calling 43% less in this segment, which is phenomenal. We have 62% less dispatches going out to these customers. To no surprise that we're treating these customers correctly, they're happier. We are seeing increased sentiment. And one of the things that's also important outside of improved results for the business is that this is a customer level dashboard. I have never seen anything like this. We have never used anything like this, but this is just one use case. Imagine having your entire customer base all down and you can detect outliers in several different use cases all in one place. So I'm super excited about how else we can use this dashboard yep. technology.